It says, <laughs> so disinformation, misinformation, hate speech have no place on Twitter. So they've now declared, right? Uh, just, just full stop. There is yeah. no place on Twitter for something that hasn't been defined. And by the way, is an ever moving target. This is what they don't want to go away. I want to be clear about what this is. It's not just, oh yeah, free speech, Pepe meme. No, look at what the left is saying. Look at why they're upset and look at how they're trying to frame it. That's where you will glean the most information. This is what the NAACP also said. Do not allow 45 to return to the platform. Well, now we have a partial definition. Oh, oh, the former president, the president Uh. of the United States, President Donald Trump, he is a hate speaker. Under, ah. the, the only president to go into office pro-gay marriage ever in the history of the United States. Did more for black Americans than the black Americans. He let Arsenio him. Hall win the Celebrity Apprentice, for God's sake. Well, he True. did. And he even did the woo, woo, woo. That was, the enti- that was a reality series equivalent of my black, my black friend. Yes, it yeah. was. <laughs> Don't you see I let Arsenio win? And he's talentless. He sucks. <laughs> Look how much I must love black people. <laughs> Do not allow 45 to return to the platform. Do not allow Twitter to be uh, become a petri dish for hate speech or falsehoods that subvert our democracy. Oh, oh, got it, got it. That subvert our democracy. Do you mean like billions of dollars in damages, Black Lives Matter, who then used the money and ran off to buy multi-million dollar estates and nonprofits that closed up shop and didn't really exist? You guys were all led astray by the grifters with Black Lives Matter, just to be yeah. clear. It was a bunch of frauds and then a bunch of white women saying, yeah, us too. <laughs> subvert our democracy <laughs> oh you mean a couple hundred thousand people protesting at the capitol with uh let's say a couple hundred people who uh only one was shot and it wasn't a cop as opposed yeah. to the dozens of cat well the hundreds of casualties over the course of the summer of hey how about this how about this misinformation is the mayor held accountable in seattle or portland mm-hmm. when they say it's peaceful it's the summer of love that's verifiably false Right when you're talking about Chaz, three people shot in a span of weeks. Do you remove that person? Oh, you remove President Donald Trump for saying, hey, it's time to, it, it, it's time to make your voices heard. Go and protest peacefully at the peacefully. Capitol. What about the people who verify? Hey, do you remove the guy on CNN, the reporter with gay face <laughs> in front of the car ablaze saying, mostly, m- mostly flameless, mostly peaceful? We can see the misinformation with our own eyes. The problem is, for the left, they've just been able to say, it doesn't matter what you see. It doesn't matter exactly what you're experiencing. It doesn't matter what the data says. We're going to lie to you, and we're going to remove the people who call us on our lies. That's what they're terrified of losing. How about the guys who said white supremacists guns people down in Kenosha? This isn't new, by the way. No. Do you remember when the media... You may not remember this, Dave, because you you weren't... um, I mean, you weren't really you weren't really conservative back then. But the fairness uh, when people talk about the uh, the fairness doctrine, I believe is what it was called. Liberals had ABC, and they had all of television, right? They had FM radio, they had pretty much everything at that point. And then you have this guy named Rush Limbaugh who used an outdated, right, was thought to be an archaic method, AM radio. And then because it was an alternative, sort of like you saw with social media, you're seeing it happen all over again. They said, you know what? We're going to take over this medium, and it became the most popular show on earth. Yeah. And then. The left said, we need to make sure that there is equal time on AM radio. Remember there was that Air America or Radio yeah. America that with uh, Janine Garofalo, Garofalo and Al Franken. Yep. And it didn't work and it failed. So because they failed when they were on equal footing, on a medium that they, they wanted nothing to do with, they weren't happy having all of network. They weren't happy having all of cable. They weren't happy having all of FM. They said, we need to guarantee equal time on AM radio because no one wants to listen to us. This is a constant pattern in the open market of ideas. And I know that both sides say, I'm right, they suck. But if you look at it historically, in the open market of ideas, the left always loses ground. Yeah. Then you see it with the internet. You see it with Facebook, you see it with YouTube, you see it with Twitter. There were no conservatives on YouTube when I was there in 2006, 2009. And then when there started to be a momentum shift, they changed the algorithms. And it was the same thing with Twitter. And it was the same thing with Facebook. Just like AM radio, this has always happened. All right. Uh, protecting our democracy, I'm reading more from the NAACP, I can't, is uh, of the utmost importance, especially as the midterm elections approach, Mr. Musk. Lives are at risk, and so is American democracy. I'm sorry, look, NAACP, fuck you.